So 1.5, the rectangular coordinate. So this section, we want to talk about the plane graph. So basic information. If we have a plane graph like this, we always call the horizontal axis is x-axis and vertical one is y-axis. Okay, as you see, we have two different variable axes. So, need to know how to determine x and y value. So, if we have maybe 3, 4, as you know, 3 is located right here because this x value and this y value and y equal to 4 here. Okay? But, please remember that this point must be together. But these two points, they are separated, right? So, if you think uh, 3 and 4, you can indicate this point and this point. That's not the right way to plot the point. Then, how to find the 3 and 4 appear at the same time? So, I'm going to erase this part and then now we, we are going to talk about how to indicate that. Okay? So, one way is we're going to find out their intercept point. So, x equal 3 is this line. And then y equal 4 is this line here. Therefore, this point where x equal 3 and then y equal 4, they meet. That particular point, now we have both 3 and 4. So this is the right point, uh, plot the point 3 and 4 here. At the same time, we can make a negative 1 and maybe 4. Then go here and then 1, 2, 3, 4 like this. Okay, so that will be negative 1, 4. And then 0, negative 5. Then from here, you only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 go down. That will be 0 and negative 5. On the other hand, you may do 2 and 0. That will be right here. Okay, so that's how we plot those points anyway. Now, let's talk about maybe distance between two points. So first of all, the given points are negative 3, 8 and then negative 5, 12. So let's plot those points on the plane graph. Okay, so first of all, negative 3 and 8, which is, so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so that will be negative 3, comma, 8 here. And 5 and 12, which is, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that will be 5, comma, 12 here. And then you draw the line. Then that current basically these two points. Then how to find the distance between these two points. One easier way is you may draw the triangle. Here. Especially right triangle. Then you may think this is the uh, rise, I mean the run and the rise like that. Okay? So, then let's find out total length between two axes. So we just count it. So, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this length will become 8. And then up here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's become 4 here. Now we know x length and then y length. And this is 90 degree. So use the Pythagorean theorem. Then we can find the length of this line here. Okay. So I'm going to make this a C. So C squared equal to A squared plus 4 squared. Then now this becomes C squared equal to 64 plus 16. So C squared equal to 80. Okay, now square root. Then C equal to only positive 80 because um, length cannot be negative value you only accept positive value here okay but now if it is the final answer then that will be great but we need to find out whether we can simplify them so you need to find prime factorization of this number so 80 means 10 times 8 10 means 5 times 2, 8 means 2 times 4, 4 means 2 times 2. Therefore, c equal root 80, which means root 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5, which means root 4, another root 4, and then root 5. You all know that this means 2 times 2. So c equal to c equal to four root five. That will be the answer for this problem.